A wonderful afternoon to everyone. We would like to welcome all of you to our hashtag Wellbeing Wednesday Live. My name is Precious from PMHA. And I'm Joyce, also from PMHA. We'll be your hosts this afternoon. 
Every second week of October, the Philippine Mental Health Association spearheads the activities of the National Mental Health Week. This is in line with the October 10 World Mental Health Day global theme of the World Health Organization, Mental Health Care for All, Let's Make It a Reality. This year, amidst the mental health challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, PMHA, in partnership with the Department of Health, Creative Passion Path, Hashtag Mental Health PH, Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association, Psychological Association of the Philippines, Youth for Mental Health Coalition, Organic Intelligence, and Media Partner, Mga Tala at Tula, is very glad to see all of you joining our initiatives in conversations and advocating mental health. Truly, mental health has never been more relevant. That's right, Miss Precious. We are very delighted that you are with us today as we will be talking about caring for our well-being through arts on this webinar entitled The Power of Expressive Arts in Improving Mental Health and Well-being. If you've been following our latest YouTube videos for every Wednesday, you may have gotten a glimpse on how art can be integrated in our self-care activities in our PMHA series, Breathe With Us. And today, as part of our Breathe With Us series, we will be exploring more of that. And live po tayo, no, sa ating YouTube channel. Follow us po, PMHA Official. And I'm sure you are all excited as we are. We will be starting in a few minutes. While waiting for our other participants, there are a few reminders that we would like to share with you. First off, this webinar will be recorded for documentation purposes. Only photos and comments will be posted. We are also streaming via YouTube live for everyone on YouTube Live, so feel free to leave comments during the session. You may also invite your friends and family to join us. To ensure a conducive learning environment, participants are muted throughout the session. We will be having an open forum after the session proper. We highly encourage everyone to use our Zoom chat box for any comments, questions, or concerns po na meron sila. That's right, Miss Joyce. And there is also a call-out icon with the label chat below your screen if you are using your laptop or desktop. And for those who are using their mobile phones, there is a three-dot icon below your screen. You can click that and you will see the word chat. We highly encourage everyone to turn on your videos during the session. Kung pakayanin po ng mga bandwidth yes. niyo. So we get a more interactive feeling during the activities. Also, we would like to encourage everyone to indicate your name and institution you belong to so we could know where you're from. To rename, kindly click the word participant. Below po yan ng screen nyo. Find your name and you can see the word more no, beside your name. Kindly click the word rename po and you have to type your full name and click OK. Yes, thank you for that, Miss Joyce. Please also make sure that you have your paper and pen with you for our activities this afternoon. For now, let us know where you are from and your expectations this afternoon. Pero kung nahihiya po kayo, you may just greet us po. No, gaya na nakikita na natin ngayon sa ating mga chat box. And of course, don't forget to put the name of your institution. Yes, Miss Precious. And for more information about our upcoming activities, kindly like and follow our Facebook page. PMHA Community-Based Mental Health Program and PMHA Official Facebook page accounts. Uh, you may follow us on Facebook po, may Twitter din po kami, Instagram, and YouTube at PMHA Official. Don't forget to tag us and use the hashtags hashtag NMHW2021 hashtag mental health care for all. Ayan! Actually, pag-open pa lang ng ating meeting, Miss Joyce. Ang ganda na ng bunga ng mga participants, di ba? Oo, puro punong-puno ng pagbaba natin itong ating chat box. Oo, oh. oh, di ba? So, At yeah. naramdaman ko buong Pilipinas, Miss Joyce. Ayan. Yes, Miss Sige Precious, nakikita ko dito, meron tayong P from PNP Health Service. Meron din tayo from Paranaque City, Miss Precious. Ayan, meron din po tayo coming from DSWD SLP Negros Occidental. Ayan, welcome po sa inyo. At umabot din participants tayo. coming from Baguio City. Ayan, salamat po. Umabot din po. tayo sa Maribelis Pataan, Miss Precious. <laughs> 
Ayan, ang dayon na nun, ano? Ayan. Okay. We also have from Philippine Navy. Ayan, meron din po tayong mga guidance counselors na nanggaling po sa Tandag City, Surigao del Sur. Welcome po sa inyo. Ayan, we also have uh, visitors coming from ayan po, SPMC, Davao City. Ayan, welcome po sa inyo. Maayo hapon sa tanan watching from Northern Mindanao. Ayan, may nag-chat sa atin. Ayan, thank Northern you. Of course, participants coming from University of Cebu. Maayong hapon din ha. Salamat sa pag-attend sa ato ang session this afternoon. Okay. Puno-puno ng pagbati ang ating chat box, Miss Precious. Zambang of course, Miss meron Kiki. din po tayo. Ng, ayan, yes po. Yun din po sana babasahin ko galing ng Zambuanga. Ayan. From Davao City Jail, Female Dormitory. Magandang hapon po. Ayan. Thank you for joining us. Also from North Daang Hari Health Center. Welcome po sa inyo. Okay. Ayun, medyo gloomy ang ating weather ngayon, Miss Precious. Kaya sana kumapit yung internet natin. Yes, <laughs> oo, oo, kumapit oh, para oh. sa lahat. Yes. Diba? Oo, medyo makulimlim nga dito sa Davao. Yes, so, oo. Oh. And Ayan. for everyone po, nakasama natin. Ayan, magandang hapon po. Ayan po. Ang partner po natin, nandito din po sila. Ayan, good afternoon po from mga tala at tula. Welcome po. Thank you po sa pag-attend. At naka-jump po kayo. Ayan. Okay? Hi. Okay. Ayan. We have uh, ang dami po nang busy na talaga natin. No? Sa Pantanat kayo Municipal College. And Isabella State University, good afternoon po sa lahat. Hi, sir. DSWD 7 Regional Haven for Women. Ayan, welcome okay. po. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po no, dahil nag-uuma po yung ating chat box ng mga pagbati mula, mula sa iba't ibang dako ng Pilipinas. So thank you so much for being with us today. And I think, Miss Precious, we're good to start. We would like to welcome all of you to Hashtag Wellbeing Wednesday Live, the power of expressive arts in improving mental health and well-being. I am Joyce from PMHA. And I am Precious also from PMHA and we will be your host for this afternoon. And to lead us with our prayer this afternoon, may we call on the Chapter Executive Manager of Palawan, Ms. Devi May Navarro. Thank you, Ms. Joyce. Let's place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Heavenly Father, you are worthy of thanksgiving and praise. We thank you for this life that even with the presence of COVID-19 pandemic, you are continuously and graciously blessing the safety and good health of our families, friends, colleagues, and even those strangers you face every day. We thank you for giving us this opportunity to gather today for Wellbeing Wednesday Live to share with the participants present here the information that aims to enhance their well-being amidst this pandemic. As we go through this webinar, may you send the Holy Spirit so that we may have an open mind and heart to listen and understand and the wisdom to guide us to know the best actions to take with the information we will be receiving today. Amen. And to formally welcome all of us this webinar, we would like to call the Program Manager of Clinical and Intervention Services Department, 
Miss Cinderella Arellano Santa Cruz to give us a warm welcome message. Hello, Thank you, Miss Precious. Ayan, loud and clear na po ba? Pasensya na. Yes po. Okay. Yes po. Sige po. To our National Executive Director, Carolina Uno Raico, and the rest of the PMHC community, our distinguished guests, representatives from different local government units, mental health coordinators, our MHPSS project founder, Johnson & Johnson, to our caregivers, volunteers, frontliners, and the general public welcome. I would also like to acknowledge our partners in this program, the Department of Health Philippines, Creative Passion Path, Hashtag Mental Health PH, Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association, Psychological Association of the Philippines, Youth for Mental Health Coalition, and Organic Intelligence Consulting Incorporated. And our media partner, Mga Tala at Tula. Good afternoon to all. It is with great honor to grace the third day of our National Mental Health Week celebration with the theme, Hashtag Wellbeing Wednesday Live. The painstaking commitment our modern day heroes have rendered and have been rendering to serve individuals in need at this pandemic situation is something we all have to commend. Yes, it is true that serving is one of the greatest favors we can provide, aiming on others' needs before us, for it nurtures our spirit and in the long run offers fulfillment in the face of the struggles and responsibilities chanced upon this exasperating situation. Maybe an exaggerated world, word, but it's real. We are in a highly challenging time, isn't it? Still, we must not overlook that while we are providing for others, our cup must be full. We cannot give what we do not have, right? So it is essential to nurture ourselves too to look after our own well-being, only then we would be able to serve best. It is foremost important to know how oneself is basically feeling. To ask oneself, kamusta ka? Every now and then, give some sense of awareness on where you are. It makes you feel attuned on what is to be done because at times, our busy schedule, the routines, and other tasks impede us to be mindful of our own needs, making us exhaust ourselves. Therefore, respect for each other's personal time, the me time, is likewise vital for the proper accomplishment of the duties and responsibilities each of our modern day heroes have. Our guest speaker today will be providing a lot of additional information and stimulating activities in expressive arts that will definitely supplement your unceasing enthusiasm to serve. And with this, I do not want to keep this long anymore since I recognize everyone here is undoubtedly excited for this event. I hope that all of you are safe and in good health, not only today, but on the days to come. So. In behalf of the Philippine Mental Health Association, again, thank you and good afternoon. Thank you for that welcoming remarks, Ms. Santa Cruz. Welcome po, Ms. Precious. And to give us a special message, may we call on Dr. Speranza Anita Enescanio Arias, Head of Quezon City Health Department. Hello, Dr. Arias. Good afternoon. Hello, po. Naririnig niyo po ako. Yes, Hello, po, ma'am. Ma Naririnig niyo po ako? Yes, po. Loud yes, po. Good afternoon, po. Hi. Hello, it's always been a pleasure for me to be able to join you guys. No, alam ko busy kayo, busy tayong lahat. But thank you for giving me this opportunity to be able to share with you yung inyo pong uh, special na activity for today. 
for the past 18 months, we've been already dealing with this pandemic and this pandemic has already um, disrupted our lives, no? not only in terms of, let's say, loss of job, no, or that uh, we have to be isolated, but we've also lost loved ones. And um, yung po ating normal um, schedule or normal routine has really, really changed. No? Plus the fact that ang hirap siguro sa atin no, to deal with yung changing patterns of uh, our lives. You know, it's, it's a very fast shift from ngayon naka-ECQ tayo, mag-EMECQ, mag-GGCQ, and then back to ECQ. And plus the fact that eto, na we wear masks and um, there's actually not only a distance but a physical barrier in between people. Na. And to think that Filipinos are really very sociable. So given this fact no, across all ages and with even with children ngayon sila na mismo nagdi-demand ng face-to-face -face sana no, I have I have actually no, I'd like to segue a little I have a 5 year old we have a 5 year old child in our home and she keeps on asking kailan ko makikita when will I go back to school no So ang dami talagang nagbago sa ating buhay ngayon But um, maganda ring isipin that with all these changes and with all the things that we're doing to more or less curb this pandemic, the issue of mental health is already emerging. People are already starting to realize that yes, we need to address this. And we need to address this across all fronts, across all ages. Yung nakita ko pong uh, binabate, even in the chat box na list ng inyong participants, will also show you, and it's a good sign for all of us, of people who are in, already interested and have taken note of how mental health is important. I've seen the list of participants range from, let's say, in the public health system na lang, may taga health center, may taga central office, there are people from national government, there are people from peacekeeping forces, I know there's one from PMP, there are people from the academe, from um, private sector, public sector, business, so talagang realize natin a very, very important to. And the efforts that you've been making to really address issues of mental health in terms of trying to reach out to as many people as we can using the platforms that are already available is laudable. However, no, we also have to, it's a challenge. Now I'll post this challenge to, uh, to people in, involved in mental health. We've been using a lot of modern technology lately, but the shift is now, the shift of the pandemic is now more towards the rural areas, no? So, siguro isip lang konti na kung tayo sa urban areas, medyo hirap na sa, sa internet connection and hirap na to reach out to them using current technologies. Paano pa kaya yung mga tao natin sa rural areas, no? Although sabi mo, ah, mas bukas doon, mas may socialization, yet they will have some uh, problems to deal with. We also have now to think of how we can make treatment and medicines more accessible and be able to make people realize na mas malawak ang, ang, ang coverage ng mental health. So with that, nakita ko yung ano nyo, expressive arts yan. Frustrated artist ako. Gusto ko mag-drawing pero ayaw ng pag-drawing sa akin. So congratulations everyone. Thank you for giving me this pleasure to be with you again. I'll stay sa seminar nyo. Interesado ako dito. So thank you very much. Good afternoon pa. Thank you so much Doc Arias for that warm message. Ayan. At this point, we would also like to call on the City Health Officer of Navotas, Dr. Christia S. Padulina, to give us a message. Isang... Dr. Padulina. Hello. Okay. Uh, Hello po. Yes, uh, isang magandang-magandang hapon po mula sa amin sa Navotas to you. And I would like to thank the organization for reaching out for our frontliners in order to have some kind of uh, unwinding ikanga for this one. So we are showcasing mental health uh, for today and uh, for various reasons. But let me just uh, showcase uh, two very important things during this pandemic. One, nobody was prepared for the pandemic. Kahit anong plano ang ginawa, nandyan dumating ang pandemic and we were forced to adjust, to adopt, 
And therefore, it is quite important that uh, we are anticipating this to um, be here on a long haul basis. Marami nagtatanong, patapos na ba pandemic? Mababa na stats ngayon. Pero of course, nobody knows the right reason as we, start, we are still learning this new normal. But um, let me put my two cents worth that uh, we will still be here for the next three to five years at least. In that context, it is quite important that uh, we embark on a journey of self-care inclusive of hopefulness. We need to be hopeful and grateful and be kind to everyone. I think the next lesson here is as frontliners, the disruption is palpable. The mental disposition has been affected and therefore we need to help ourselves because if we don't help ourselves, we cannot extend the service that we need to, to the patients who depend on us. So mental health is quite important. Let me thank the, uh, the people here for joining, for trusting that uh, this is one venue that we could all learn, unwind, and therefore help us in terms of our well-being. I would like to enjoin everyone to join actively, participate, and spread the good news also within the family. Pagka masama ang loob at uh, medyo may hugot ang isang frontliner, paano siya makakatulong whole house thirdly sa ating pasyente at paano niya itong makakascale with confidence sa kanyang pamilya. So in so doing, thank you to the dear Lord Almighty that we are still here and that we are making a mark during this momentous pandemic. It's an opportunity to make a difference. With that, thank you very much and let's enjoy and participate in this very important uh, endeavor. Congratulations and mabuhay. Thank you so much, Dr. Padulina, for that heartfelt message. This afternoon, we also have the Mental Health Coordinator of the Geek City, Dr. Anna Panopio to give us a special message. Hello, Doc. Hi, uh, hi. Uh, do you hear me? Sorry. Yes, po. Loud and clear, Doc. Okay. Um, so, good afternoon, everyone. I'm sorry. Sorry for that. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. Um, imagine waking up in a world when you're supposed to go out but you were rid of things that would make you feel safe or waking up on the wrong side of the bed in a day when you're supposed to feel confident and strong. That would be awful, di ba? So um, these scenarios are not too far away from the days we frontliners start up with in this time of the pandemic. It has become difficult to just shrug off the bad days and... Um, the physical and mental fatigue and walk on, especially when you'd be facing an illness which may befall you anytime and deal with some personal matters at the same time. Somehow, these things feel inevitable. And so it is during these times that we have to be mindful of self-care so we can brave another day again and give ourselves in the service of others. You know, most important, eh? kasi frontliners in the service of others all the time. So uh, personally, when I come across this feeling at any time of the day, I usually take deep breaths, hum, or sing lines from songs, uh, usually yung with a smile by Eraserhead, and it restarts me. Practicing self-care in the form of expressive arts, which some would refer to as a hobby, has the power to keep us at bay. In behalf of the healthcare workers and other frontliners in the city of Taguig, we would like to thank PMHA and Creative Passion Path for giving us this venue to learn more about expressive arts. We welcome you to this webinar, which will teach us how arts, music, and movement play can help improve our well-being and become more resilient. Have a pleasant afternoon, and again, welcome everyone. Thank you so much, po, Dr. Panovi, for that very genuine message. We are very grateful to these doctors for gracing this event, despite of their busy schedule. So maraming maraming salamat po. 
Ayan. Thank you po sa ating mga distinguished guests invited this afternoon. But before we will proceed, bibitinin ko po muna kayo with our session and as we wait for other participants, ano, kasi marami pa po tayong mga kasamang hahabol pa sa atin. We would like to reiterate a few more reminders. Na? Okay? First off is that this webinar will be recorded for documentation purposes and only the photos and comments will be posted. We are also streaming via YouTube. Live po tayo doon. So, for everyone on YouTube, uh, feel free to leave comments during the session po. You may also invite your friends and family to join us. Ayan, to in ensure a conducive learning environment, participants are muted throughout the session. We will be having an open forum after the session proper. We highly encourage everyone po to use their Zoom chat box for any comments, questions, or concerns. Lastly po, please have your papers and pen with you for our activities this afternoon. Ayan, thank you for that, Miss Joy. So, uh, kung meron po tayong concerns, ano, nahirapan po tayo sa pag-manage po nitong Zoom natin, you can always click the raise your hand icon and we will try to send you a private message. You may also send a private message to our PMHA help desk if you need any assistance. Also, there is a call-out icon with a label chat below your screen. You can check po if you're using your laptop or desktop. And for those who are using their mobile phones, there is a three-dot icon below your screen. So you can click that po and you will see the word chat. Ayan. So at this point po, we will get to know more about PMHA. Here is a short video presentation.
Okay, I think I I hope na enjoy po ninyo ang aming presentation this afternoon na yan. And I think we're all set, uh, Miss Joyce, no? Yes, and uh, okay, ako excited na excited na talaga ako, no? Okay. And um not to formally introduce our resource speaker for this session, may we call on the chapter executive manager of PMH the Gupan chapter, Dr. Michael Romero. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Our speaker for this afternoon is a registered expressive arts consultant and educator granted by the International Expressive Arts Therapy Association, a certified expressive arts coach granted by the Certified Coaches Alliance and the Focusing Oriented Expressive Arts, a facilitator granted by the Focusing and Expressive Arts Institute USA. She graduated cum laude with a degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts in Advertising Arts from University of Santo Tomas, Manila. She is currently taking Master's in Clinical Psychology in the same university. She has conducted expressive arts workshops, art retreats, and expressive arts coaching to different populations such as children with cancer and chronic illnesses and volunteers through Kai Foundation, senior citizens through United Bayanihan Foundation, people with mood disorders through Mood Harmony Support Group, people with mental health conditions through Philippine Mental Health Association Incorporated, patient support groups in Medical City and children with history of abuse and abandonment. Through engaging in the process and helping them find meaning in their art output, they gain insight and learn healthier ways of coping to move forward with their life experiences. Our speaker's passion is to use expressive arts, mindfulness practice, storytelling, and life coaching to connect, empower, and bring healing to individuals, groups, and communities. Therefore, she prefers to be called a heartist. She loves art and helping others. She is a mother of three dogs and a gecko. She also <laughs> enjoys painting murals <laughs> in works with Kai Foundation to make hospitals a happy healing place for sick people. To guide us this afternoon in exploring the power of expressive arts in improving mental health and well-being, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Caroline Tonko. Yeah, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you for that wonderful introduction po, Doc Mike. Ayan, welcome to this webinar entitled The Power of Ex Expressive Arts in Improving Mental Health and Well-Being. Yeah, oo. So, maybe a lot of you, kagaya nga nung kanina na narinig natin na, ah, nako, ah, hindi ko nga kayang mag-drawing ng stick figure eh. Kaya ko ba tong, ano expressive art or baka parehong kaliwa yung aking paa? Kaya ko bang gumalaw? O hindi naman ako magaling sumulat kasi hindi ako magaling sa ano, maayos na grammar eh. But really, I, what I wanted to prove you this afternoon is that everyone can enjoy expressive arts, okay? So, um, ma'am, I, I can share screen na po. Can I share screen po? I'll use my presentation. Okay, sige. All right, so I'll be sharing my screen. There you go. All right, sige. Yan. So, what are we going to expect today? Okay, so we will have a short lecture lang. So, we will just define what mental health and well-being is. We will also do um, explanation kung ano ba talaga yung expressive arts para naman hindi kayo kabahan kasi baka akala nyo ito ay tulad nung mga, naalala nyo ba nung mga nasa school pa tayo na papadrawing tayo ng teacher natin at lalagyan ng grade o bibigyan tayo ng grade. So, hindi po ganon yung gagawin natin today. Ah. So, para mas ma-define natin at, ma at maintindihan natin ano ba yung expressive arts at paano ito makakatulong sa atin. And also, lastly, 
um, marami tayong hinandang activities para sa inyo kasi yun naman talaga yung gusto nating ma-experience today. Yung ma-relax kasi di ba ang hirap-hirap ng mga responsibilities natin as adults yan. Ang hirap mag-adulting. But this time, I'm inviting, I'm inviting you guys to play like a child, connect with your inner child, and just be open to the process of expressive arts, okay? So before we dive into defining what mental health is, what expressive arts is, I'm inviting you in a short kamustahan, okay? So how will we do this kamustahan, okay? So I invite you to find a comfortable way of sitting. So kung gusto nyo nakasandal, gusto nyo nakataas ang paal, dahil nga gusto natin relax kayo eh. So just find a comfortable way of sitting and feel the support of the chair you're sitting on. Feel the support of the ground where your feet touch. And just feel safe where you are right now. And I invite you to take deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Now, on your next inhale, I invite you to go inside your body. And if you want, you can close your eyes or just lower your gaze na lang if you're not comfortable closing your eyes. And following your breath inside your body, I invite you to sense inside, Kamusta ba ang pakiramdam ko ngayong araw na ito? Okay? Minsan nang hirap sagutin ng tanong na kamusta ba ako, hindi ba? So kung ihahalin tulad natin siya sa weather o panahon, diba? meron tayong iba't ibang weather o panahon, Ano kayang pwedeng kahalin tulad na weather ng aking nararamdaman? Ito ba ay sunny, na warm, clear yung sky, bright yung day, walang clouds, or para bang windy day inside you today? Maaring there's a bit of cloud, there's a bit of sun, pero ang lakas ng hangin sa loob mo. Or, para bang cloudy? Para bang cloudy ang pakiramdam mo na medyo dark yung clouds, no sun, at medyo alam mo na paparating na yung ulan? Or, katulad ba ng rainy day ang pakiramdam mo sa loob? Makapalang ulap, madilim ang clouds, muulan na, ayan na ang ulan. At, Maari din na baka mas malakas ang ulan sa loob mo ngayon. Baka stormy day to day. Merong malakas na ulan, malakas na hangin, at napapansin mo bumabaha na. Ganun ba yung pakiramdam mo sa loob? O maaring tapos na yung ulan, maaring may rainbow na. Ayan na yung sunshine. Lumalabas na yung mga ibon. Naririnig mo na yung tweet-tweet ng mga ibon. At nakikita mo na yung rainbow. Tapos na ang bagyo. Okay? So, we may all have different ways of interpreting the weather. Wala namang tama o mali. O maaring may mga kombinasyon ng weather inside us. Now, if you are able to find a symbol... Or weather that will match your feeling, I invite you to take a deep breath in again. And on your next exhale, I invite you to open your eyes. And you can share on the chat box, ano bang weather ang kahalintulad ng aking pakiramdam ngayong araw na to. So you can use emojis, you can use um, anything that you can that can express how you're feeling today. Okay? So, invite ko si Miss Precious to check on ano yung pulso ng ating chat. <laughs> Ma'am Precious, kamusta ba ang ating participants dito sa Zoom today? Ayan po. As of uh, this time po, Miss Caroline, ayan. Uh, majority po sa mga responses natin, eh, ang pakiramdam po nila ay eh, nasa rainbow mm. at shower. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. No? So marami, marami din pong responses coming from Sunny. Ayan. And Rainy. Kasi nga po siguro, uh, ma'am, eh, Ma makulimlim pa rin po no mostly dito mm -hmm. sa atin. Mm -hmm. Oo, sumasabay ang mood sa panahon ano. <laughs> Minsan ganun tayo ano. Thank you po Miss Precious. 
sa YouTube kaya meron kayong mga <laughs> nagko-comment or um, nagpa-participate ng mga participants, Miss Joyce? Naka-mute po pala kayo, ma'am. <laughs> oh, ayan. So, ayan. Ayan. Teacher Kara, meron po dito sa ating YouTube, a summer. Summer. Ang internal weather report dito sa YouTube channel. <laughs> Wow, okay. So talaga naman, no? iba-iba talaga tayo ng mood today. So dito sa, chinecheck ko yung chat, ayan. So marami pa rin pumapasok na mga entry. So thank you for sharing kung kamusta tayo lahat ngayon. So it's just one way of showing you that ang expressive arts po, parang ganito siya, we can use different symbols to express our feelings. So this time, gumamit tayo ng weather, pero later we will find out how we can um, express our feelings, our thoughts through different expressive arts modalities, katulad ng paggalaw, o pag, um, paggawa ng tunog, pagsusulat, o paggawa ng art. So there. So thank you very much for participating. So now, let's begin by defining what is mental health? So, una muna bago natin alamin paano nakakatulong ang expressive arts sa mental health, alamin muna natin yung definition ng mental health. Okay? Sige nga. Tingnan ko kung ano yung mga thoughts ng ating audience. What comes to your mind when you hear the word mental health? Sige nga. Ano yung um, naiisip ninyo na katulad, nakahalintulad ng salita ng mental health? Ayan. Sige. So, ayan, mukhang may nakikita na akong mga um, comments dito sa Zoom. Miss Precious, ano pong sabi ng ating mga participants sa Zoom? Miss Pre Precious pala. <laughs> yeah. Ayan po. Let me check po. Ayan. Meron po nagsabi, uh, well-being, emotions, uh, madalas po, no, wellness, ang kanilang uh, tingin, no, on mental health, thoughts, perceptions, and emotions. Okay. There's also peace, coping up, status of your mind, even stress. Uh, Ma'am mm -hmm. Carolyn, no, naging uh, definition din niya or yun yung magkakaintindi niya ng mental health. Yeah. Dahilan ng mga kilos ng isang tao. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Wow, mind ability yeah. and stability. Mm -hmm. We also have sound mental health. Mm -hmm. And the ability of an individual to think and improve uh, their skills and life. Ayan po. Wow, ayan. So, ang ganda ng mga definition natin ng mental health. So, sa YouTube ba, Miss Joyce? Meron yes. Mga participants? Yes, Teacher Carol. Meron din dito na napaka-active din ng ating mga YouTube sus subscribers. So, meron dito, mentally healthy daw, kalusugan ng kaisipan, state of well-being, and coping skills or resilience. Ayan yung magaling sa ating YouTube channel, Teacher Kara. Wow, nakakatuwa. Very active ano, ang ating mga participants. So, thank you sa mga nagbigay ng kanilang definition or what comes to your mind when you think of mental health. So, now let's look at the definition of mental health according to the World Health Organization. So, sabi nila, um, according to the World Health Organization, mental health is a state of well-being. Uy, tama yung mga sagot niyo. Ha? In which the individual first realizes his or her own abilities. Yung alam natin, yung kakayanan natin at hindi tayo na nagdududa sa ating mga sarili. Can cope with the normal stresses of life. Yung kahit araw-araw merong mga nangyayari sa paligid natin, kaya nating mag-cope. Okay, so let me just <laughs> disable annotation. Alright. And third, can work productively and fruitfully. Okay, so yung um, kahit anong... Um, nangyayari sa kanya, kaya niyang maging productive pa rin. Okay? Able to make contribution to his or her own community. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang pakiramdam na, ay, nagagawa ko yung dapat kong gawin. Make yung contribution ko. Yung pakiramdam ng fulfillment. Okay? So, ito yung definition ng World Health Organization ng mental health. Okay? So, tatanong ko naman kayo, Ano ba yung mga nakaka-apekto sa stability ng inyong mental health? Sige nga, type nyo nga sa chat box kung ano yung mga nakaka-apekto sa inyong mental health. Yan, sige. 
So, Miss Precious, anong sabi ng ating mga Zoom participants? Yes po, automatic naman yung mga responses nila, Ma'am Carol. No? Uh, according to them, uh, relationship, mostly school and stress. There's also responses like family, experiences, traumas, work-related, family problems happening around us. Ayan. Even the environment, according to the participants, uh, Carol, you know, affects the mental health. People, of course, no, and uh, rumination and daily activities. And thank you, Miss Precious. Miss Joyce, kamusta naman sa inyo? Ayan. <laughs> Ito po, Teacher Carol, work-related stress, stress, COVID, trauma, uncertainty, <laughs> and loss of loved one po. Yung karaniwang answers dito sa ating YouTube channel. Ayan. So, Diba parang I think ang daming nakaka-relate sa atin ano. So parang may mga things that common na stressors natin at mga nakaka-affect ng ating mental health. And if there's one thing to sum up the, the things that's affect, affecting our mental health, maari natin gamitin yung salitang stress. And if we look at the definition of stress um, by Hans Selye, the first person who coined the word stress, ang sabi niya, the stress is response of the body to any demand for change. So, if we look at this definition, meron tal dalawang bagay tayong pwedeng i-highlight. Yung mga nagpapastress sa atin, yung stressor natin, yung mga change, yung mga demands, and then, yung natural na response ng ating katawan sa tuwing tayo ay nai-stress. Okay? So, eto may tanong ulit ako. Napakadami kong tanong, ano, para naman nagpa-participate ang ating mga audience at alam natin gising sila. Okay? Paano mo nalalaman na, nako, eto na... Nai-stress na ako. Okay, so paano nagmamanifest ang stress sa iyo? Ano mga signs mo na ayan na, malapit na akong ma-stress? Ayan. Miss Precious, anong pulso ng ating chat box dito sa Zoom? Yes po. Uh, well, ang mga responses po nila sa atin, ma'am, is headache. May mood swings din po. Sleepless nights and they also feel sick. My bodily symptoms, no, and uh, too much thinking, no. They become overwhelmed, mm -hmm. ayan, and they're ah. getting fat now, Ma'am Carol. Oh, yeah, oh, my oh, panic oh. din po. Oh, oh. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, they get to become emotional, mm -hmm. no. Nagkakaroon din po ng uh, episodes ng kain ng kain, mm -hmm. ayan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And almost like giving up na po. Oh no. Yeah, thank you Miss Precious. Miss Joyce comes to sa ating YouTube. Yes, almost same din po na nabanggit ni Miss Precious no yung mga uh, responses dito sa ating YouTube channel. We have change of behavior, rapid heart rate, insomnia, irritation, palpitations, unable to sleep. Karamihan po ay headache and uncontrollable mm. eating. Yeah, thank you po Miss Precious and Miss Joy. So, kung titingnan natin yung mga sagot ninyo, pwede natin siyang i-categorize dito, no? So, may mga iba na yun nga parang sa thoughts nagma-manifest yung stress nila, iba sa emotion, sa yan nagiging moody, nagbi-beast mode, ayan. Or maybe sa behavior, 'di ba? May iba gusto siguro na mag-isolate or parating pagod o lobat, di maka-focus, 'di ba? Or physical, ang dami dito nagsabi about physical, yung parang either Tulog na tulog, or hindi makatulog, or kain ng kain, or hindi makakain, hindi ba? Or maraming masakit sa katawan, di ba? So, I think most of us nakakaramdam ng stress sa katawan. Pero as you can see in this diagram, nakaka-apekto yung physical na symptom sa lahat ng aspeto in our thoughts, in our emotions, in our behavior. And even yung ating emotions, it also affect the other parts. So, they are interrelated talaga. So, as we can see, um, itong mga nangyayari sa atin when we are stressed, when we look at it, parang debilitating siya when we look at it, hindi ba? Pero ano ba talaga yung nangyayari sa loob natin when we are experiencing stress? According to a research by Dr. Kelly McGonigal, um, lagi nating iniisip na ko, oh, kalaban natin ng stress, hindi ba? Pero, binigyan niya tayo ng ibang perspective sa stress. So, sabi niya, Maari nating tingnan yung stress as 
alay. Okay? Bakit? Bakit kakampi ko yung stress? Because lahat ng nangyayari sa loob ng ating katawan ay tinutulungan tayo to be prepared for the challenges that we are facing. So, um, yung liver natin nagdadump ng fat and sugar into our bloodstream para marami tayong energy. Yung may narinig ako kanina parang um, bumibilis yung tibok ng puso o bumibilis yung paghinga. Your breathing depends because your body needs more oxygen or getting more oxygen. Your heart rate speeds up because it's delivering the oxygen to all parts of your body. Yung stress hormones natin, yung adrenaline and cortisol, tinutulungan yung muscles and brain natin to take in that energy. And yeah, so tama po yan, Miss Jody. Yung new stress is a good type of stress. So meron ding mga stress na Pwede nating, uh, yun nga, make stress your friend. Thank you po, Miss Leia, sa inyong shinere. Oo, pwede nating maging ally ang stress. So, if you will look at this image, we can look stress this way. It's uh, debilitating us, it's burdening us, but we can also look stress this way. We can use stress to our advantage. So, having a good mental health does not mean we are immune to stress. Hindi, hindi porket kayong mag-cop sa lahat, hindi ka na may stress. May stress ka pa rin. Pero, ang good thing about having a good mental health ay kaya nating mag well with stress. Okay? So, actually, yung ating katawan o yung sarili natin, meron tayong sarili-sariling paraan to regulate our emotions or the stress that we are experiencing. And, Actually, kahit hindi nyo po alam, gumagamit na kayo ng expressive arts, okay? So, in what way na, hala, nag-expressive arts na pala ako without knowing it. Kahit feeling ko hindi ako artist, or feeling ko hindi naman ako singer, or hindi naman ako magaling na dancer, okay? So, I'm inviting you to play this game with me, okay? So, ano bang game to? May pag-game pala si, ano, Teacher Carol today. Okay, sige. So, meron akong babasahing 10 statements. At bilangin nyo kung alin dito yung nakaka-relate kayo. Okay? Sige, babasahin ko ah. Okay. Have you ever sang in the shower? Okay? Sige, count nyo yun. Or have you ever expressed your anger by clenching your fist? Okay? Have you ever doodled in the middle of a long, boring meeting <laughs> to soothe your boredom? Have you sang or whistled while doing a chore or being stuck in traffic? Have you wrote down things that have been boggling your mind? Pwede yung mga thoughts, feelings, or yung mga ang dami-daming gagawin, mga things to do. Okay? okay? Have you danced or jumped after hearing a good news? Have you sang in a karaoke for fun? So ka Kahapon ba yun na nag nagkantahan tayo or the other day, nagkantahan tayo with ano, mga Philippine mental health um, staff and volunteers. Nagkaraoke sa Zoom, okay? Have you expressed an exasperated sigh when you felt frustrated? Have you wrote a letter to someone to express how you feel? Ayan, yung mga nagkaka-crush kayo, sumulat ba kayo sa inyo mga crush? O kaya kahit sa loved ones nyo? Or have you made any form of art for fun? Okay? So, kung ilan yung nakaka-relate kayo dito, type nyo sa chat box. Okay? Ayan, mukhang <laughs> marami nang sumasagot. Miss Precious. Yes po, Ma'am Carol. Ayan. I think passing score sila lahat. No more than, no? All the responses are 7 and up. Ayan, and most of them nasa 9 out of 10 and 10 out of 10. Ako po 8 out of 10. Ayan, <laughs> naglaro din po ako. <laughs> Ayan, di ba? Ayan, di ba? Most of us majority nagawa natin dito. Jen po sa YouTube, Miss Joyce. Kamusta naman Ayan. ang ating mga viewers? Siguro mo kang busy pa sila, Teacher Caro, <laughs> sa pagtatali ng kanila mga scores sa mga game mo. Pero... We have here 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Ayan. So, nag-start na po siya sumagot. 6, mostly ay 10, meron ding 9. So, mostly po, 9 or 10 po ang kanilang mga nagagawa dito sa inyong 10 statesmen. Yeah. 10 statesmen. Yes. Thank you po, Miss Precious and Miss Joyce. Kita naman natin, in all these ways, we didn't have to be experts in art making, in dancing, in writing, in singing, to be able to enjoy expressive arts, hindi po ba? So, when we say movement here, to clarify lang, it doesn't mean dance agad or TikTok agad, okay? So, movement can simply mean like, ha ba, nagiinis ka, nagigigil ka, you do this, gesture. Minsan mga nasa gesture siya. 
Or when you make an exasperated sigh. Or a sigh of relief. Ay, buti na lang, hindi ba? And we make different tones when we make different sigh, di ba? Pag sigh of relief, parang medyo pataas yung tono, di ba? Hay, salamat. O kaya pagkasay na nakakainis, so, hay nako, di ba? So our body knows how to regulate itself. And naturally, nagagawa natin siya without really being conscious about this, okay? So what really is expressive arts, okay? So according to International Expressive Arts Therapy Association or IATA, expressive arts combine the visual arts, movement, drama, music, writing, and creative processes to foster deep personal growth and community development. So, yun nga, kanina, na, uh, kanina nun sa introduction, may mga nag-iisip nag na, hala, nako, gusto ko ang arts, pero ayaw ng arts sa akin. So, hindi ibig sabihin, pag gagawa ng art, kailangan meron agad na magandang output that we show off to other people. We can still use arts for our personal growth para makilala natin yung sarili natin or community development para mag-connect-connect tayo. So, even if we are now here in a virtual environment, there's a way for us to really connect, okay? So, I wanted to find out also, okay? So, after hearing this definition about expressive arts and the activities that we did earlier, I want to find out how do you feel when you hear about doing arts, music, writing, and movement, because we will be doing most of it uh, in this afternoon, sige. Is it five? Do you feel comfortable naman ako, okay naman sa akin? Or for comfortable, sakta lang, or gitna, I feel neither comfortable nor uncomfortable, or two, nako, kabado pa rin ako, uncomfortable pa rin ako, or one, nako, I feel very uncomfortable, okay? Ano pong pulso ng ating... Um, Zoom participants, Miss Precious. Yes po, Teacher Carol. Actually, nakakatuwa. Majority po sa kanila, eh, they feel comfortable. And also very comfortable. No? Lahat sila naka-intune na po sa inyong magiging activity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oo. So, thank you. Sarah. Four and five, four and five four po. Four and five. Ayan. Okay, yes po. Okay. Meron akong nahaging lang na nakita ng three daw siya kasi medyo may kabaw. Huwag kang mag-alala. Uh, we will be guiding you throughout the process, okay? Kamusta po dyan, Miss Joy, sa ating YouTube? Ayan, Teacher Carol, that, sa ating YouTube naman, mostly ang sagot nila ay five. They are very comfortable, no? Sa uh, doing arts, music, writing, and movement. Although, meron tayong isang sagot dito na number three rin. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang yan. It's important that we acknowledge our feelings. Yun nga, kaya po natin tinatanong para alam natin kung asan tayo ngayon. Ayan. So, thank you po sa mga nag-share. Ayan. Sige. So, alam nyo po, marami mga misconception nga tungkol sa expressive arts. Kaya tayo minsan kinakabahan. Okay, so I'm inviting you. Ay, ito na naman. May pag-game na naman si Teacher Carol. Okay, meron akong pag-game sa inyo. Okay, so let's play true or false. Okay, so I will be reading statements and then re uh, type on the chat box if you think it's true or false. Okay ba yun? Ah, sige, first question. Yan. Expressive arts is the same with art, music, dance, or writing workshop. Is it true or false? Pareho ba siya? Ano sa tingin nyo? Miss Precious, ano pong sabi ng ating participants? Ayan, most of the participants answered true. Well, some of them also answered false. Mm, okay. Ayan. Mostly po sa kanila, Teacher Carol is true. At true, okay. Ayan, 58 responses, 6, okay po. Good, thank you. Diyan po, Miss Joyce, meron na po bang nag-respond? Yes po, Teacher Carol, mostly ang sagot nila ay to true. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Ayan, o sige. Thank you po, Miss Precious and Miss Joyce. Ayan, idadabang ko yung myth na yan. So, hindi po siya kapareho ng mga usual na alam natin na art workshop, music dance, or writing workshop because in these kinds of workshops, they are teaching a skill that you will follow. Halimbawa, oh, magdo-drawing tayo ng portrait ng tao. Sige, you start with a circle. Bagyan mo ng line. So, hindi po ganun yung expressive art. So, sa process natin, I will be guiding you with mga instructions. But, 
you can find your own way of doing it. Okay? So, halimbawa, sabihin ko na, sige, gawin natin tong movement na ito. Pero iba yung tinatawag ng katawan mo na gawin. Okay, so you, you have a different way of expressing it. You can still do it. At hindi ko sasabihin na, oops, hindi ka, hindi ka kasabay namin. Kailangan, ano, sabay-sabay natin ito gagawin. Hindi. hindi ko po kayo sisitahin kung tama o mali yung the way you are doing it. So, um, kung, kung mayroong mang skill na ituturo natin, ay it's about how can I use arts that, to help me? Hindi yung how can I make arts for performance Something that I will show off to people. Papakita ko sa TikTok or show off ko sa Instagram yung artwork. So it's not really something like that. Okay, so let's go to the next um, statement. Okay, true or false, in expressive arts, the facilitator will tell you if what you did was right or wrong. Okay, sige nga. Ano pong sabi nila, Miss Precious? Ayan. Ma'am Carol, for this question po, most of their answer are false. So yeah. far, la po ako nakakita ng true. Most of them respond false po for this statement. Correct. Ayan. Sige, Miss Joyce, kamusta po sa YouTube? Ayan. Uh, teacher Carol, meron po sa dito false. Mostly mm -hmm. pala ay false. Ayan. Papasok pa lang kanilang mga answers. Yes. Tama po kayo. False po ito. So, in expressive arts, Hindi ko po sasabihin kung tama o mali or ma ay ito mas maganda yung gawa niya ang grade mo 100 ikaw 99 ka lang hindi po ganoon okay Kasi yun yung excuse me yun yung usually akala natin na arts di ba na parang i-judge tayo di ba And um ang hmm, ang pinaka focus natin dito ay yung proseso ko So kalbawa nagpunit ako ng papel at na-relieve ako doon Ay, edi, nag-express na mo yung sarili mo. Hindi natin pinupokus yung, ay, kailangan. Maganda yung pagkakapunit ko para artistic pa rin. Hindi ganun, okay? So, if you want to use different materials, different um, art expression to help you relieve whatever it is that you're trying to relieve or express whatever it is that you're trying to express, yun yung focus natin. Hindi yung finished product. Okay. So, next statement. Okay? In expressive arts, the facilitator will interpret your art expression. True or false? Okay? Anong sabi ng ating participants, Miss Precious? Okay, Teacher Carol. Ayan. Uh -huh. Mostly po, ayan. Sandali. Ayan. Hati na po, Teacher <laughs> Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko na masabi ng ano. Oo, oh, oh, alternate na yung mga answer nila. True, false, and true, false. Medyo oh. nagkaroon na ng confusion. Itong-lito na sila. <laughs> yes, <laughs> kung kanina siguradong sigurado. Uh -oh, yeah. Ayan po. Yeah, okay. Miss Joyce, ano pong sabi? Ayan, so same din sa ating Zoom chat box. Medyo hati ang ating mga sagot dito sa YouTube channel, Teacher Carol. Ayan, hati din, di ba? <laughs> Kung pwede lang false true or true false, <laughs> para para nga po. Di ba? Ayan, sige, di ba? Ayan, so, okay. So, para po magkaalaman na, false po, hindi po ako yung expert sa gawa ninyo. Kayo po yung expert sa sarili nyo artwork. Kasi meron tayong iba't ibang sariling interpretation. Halimbawa, Si Miss Precious, nag naglagay siya ng pula sa artwork niya. Ang para sa kanya, ang meaning nun, love. Hindi ko pwedeng interpret para sa kanya. Hindi, galit ka eh. Kaya ako gamit ng red eh. Diba? Hindi, hindi ako yung mag interpret nun para sa kanya. Siya yung mag um, interpret nun para sa sarili niya. Or halimbawa, yun nga, minsan yung color na blue, na-associate siya sa, di ba, blue, di ba, parang pakiramdam na malungkot? Are you feeling blue, di ba? Negative yung feeling yun. But maybe for some people, blue is a calm color, di ba? So, iba-iba yung interpretation. And hindi ako yung pwedeng mag-interpret nun para sa inyo. Oo, tama yun. Personal po kasi yun, expression. At hindi natin pwedeng i-interpret. So, Kung baga, kung sino yung nagguhit o gumawa ng artwork niya, siya yung may ownership of the interpretation. Okay? So, thank you. Okay? Isa pa ang tanong. Ayan. Expressive arts is only for children. True or false? Ayan. Miss Precious, pumapasok na ang mga sagot. Ayan. 
Ayan, majority po, uh, false po. Ayan. Ayan Buti false naman. po mga responses nila. Ayan. Ayan. Thank you, Miss Precious. <laughs> Miss Joyce, kamusta naman dyan? False din po ang kasagutan dito sa YouTube channel. So, nagkaisa po sila. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> nagkaisa. <laughs> yes. Diba, pinag-aaway natin yung true at false eh. False, <laughs> tama po yun. So, lahat po tayo ay makaka-benefit sa expressive arts. Okay, last question para matapos na yung pagtatalong ito. <laughs> expressive arts is only for those who can sing, dance, draw, and write well. Is it true or false? Yan. Miss Precious, ano pong sabi nila? ang pulso ng ating mga participants, tuloy-tuloy po ang false. Ayan. Ayan. Wala ng false. May ayan. emphasis po. False <laughs> na false. Oo, oh, ayan. Kanina pa natin yan ina-emphasize. No, buti naman na gets na nila yung uh, misconception na yan. Kayo po, Miss Joyce, kamusta dyan sa YouTube? Yes, false din po dito, Teacher Carol, sa YouTube. <laughs> ayan. So, finally, ayan. So, na-gets na ng ating mga participants na anybody can enjoy expressive arts. Okay, so paano ba nakakatulong yung expressive arts to help cope with uh, and manage our emotions? So first, um, expressive arts can help us become aware of ano yung nangyayari sa atin, ano iniisip natin, ano nararamdaman natin. And it's inviting us to just be welcoming, to be curious, to be understanding to these emotions. And also, yung expressive arts can also help us understand this emotion. So, minsan yung mga nararamdaman natin or iniisip natin, dahil sobrang overwhelming siya, para siyang buhol-buhol na PC sa, sa isip ko kagaya nitong drawing na to or image na to sa ating slide. Pero, in, in a way, itong expressive arts can help us symbolize the things na hindi natin ma-express sa salita. Maybe through sound, through um, movement, through drawing, or kunwari, maari ding um, pagsulat ng tula. ba? Diba? So, um, in that way, nagiging um, nare-reflect sa atin kung ano yung nangyayari sa ating isip at kung ano man yung kaguluhan sa ating isip, natatransfer siya to something that we can see, we can feel, we can hear. Hindi po ba? And also, when we begin to understand this emotion, we can also understand ano bang kailangan ng emotion ko ngayong araw na ito. Okay? So, um, I know you are all excited to experience what expressive arts is. But I wanted to show you ano ba yung expressive arts? How do we do it before the quarantine? Para you can have a sense and feel of how it's done and how how, uh, how playful you could be when you're experiencing expressive arts. Okay? So let me show you this video.
for a while po, Teacher Carol. There you go. So, thank you, thank you. Ayan, so as you can see, hindi siya yung traditional way na um, tinuturo namin. O, ganito gagawin mo. So, the participants can explore how they want to make their own artwork. And also, there's different materials that they can choose from. So, may mga binibigay kaming mga prompts sa kanila. And they're, um, they're the ones na nag -e express ng kanilang mga sarili. So, now that we are in a quarantine, di ba, hiwa-hiwali tayo ngayon. Nako, paano ngayon yan? Wala tayong mga buffet of art materials just like how we do it before. So, um, what we realize na sa time ng pandemic, we can be more creative pala. And the most important tool that we can use is our body. Yun yung pinaka-important na tool that we have in, use, in, in, in using or um, experiencing expressive arts. And today, in-invite namin kayo na magdala kayo kahit anong five pieces of paper that you have. There may, may be some of you nasa work kayo ngayon, nasa, os, nasa hospital or nasa school or nasa mga opisina. So, kuha kayo dyan kahit scratch paper. Okay? Um, kung halimbawa naman may access kayo sa pangkulay, baka yung mga crayola ng mga estudyante nyo nandyan pa sa, sa ano, classroom. Ayan, hiramin nyo muna yung mga crayons. O kaya yung mga iba dito na mga mommy na merong um, crayon sa mga anak, hiramin nyo muna yon. So, gagamit tayo ng mga, um, kung, kung, kung meron, gamitin natin yon. Pero kung wala, okay lang no, yon. We will make the most out of what we have right now. Okay, so, now, this is the time we will be experiencing what expressive arts is, okay? So, I have prepared series of exercises. And just like what I mentioned earlier, I invite you to be open to the process, okay? So, but also, you have to respect your pace and space if you feel like, Nako, parang I'm not comfortable doing this, eh. If it's okay, if you don't feel comfortable, you can just observe your emotions, your thoughts, or maybe the other people participating, okay? So, I'll be guiding you in a series of different movements and sound making and um, art making. And in, I invite you to just observe how you feel while doing each of these expressive arts exercises. And just a reminder po, um, maybe hindi natin maiiwasan yung... There's a side of us that's called the uh, inner critic. The inner critic will come and visit you and will tell you, Nako, ba't di pantay yung lines mo? Nako, hindi perfect yung circle mo or bakit ganyan yung gawa mo para kang bata? So, I invite you to make that inner critic na, uh, sabi mo just inner critic mo, magbakasyon ka muna. This is for me to enjoy. I don't have to come up with something that, that's pretty that I have to show off to other people. But I am doing this to take care of myself today. Okay, Bayon? Okay, so give me a thumbs up nga kung ready na kayo with um, five pieces of any paper you have or any writing instrument that you have so that we know if we're ready to proceed. Okay, sige nga, tingnan natin if the participants are ready. Can you give me a thumbs up if you're ready for with your materials? Yan, sige, yes, wait lang po, natin. Yes po, Ayan, okay. Have... So, okay, meron naman tayong mga, okay, meron na, ready na yung ating mga participants. All right, okay, sige. So, I'm going to stop sharing muna so that I can see everyone, okay? And if you want to turn on your videos, you can turn on your videos so that you can do these exercises with me. Diba? Kahit sa virtual, we can have this feeling and sense of community kahit tayo ay hiwa-hiwalay, hindi ba? Ayan, sige. Okay, so, alright, there you go. Ayan naman pala at ang gaganda naman pala at ang gagwapo ng ating mga participants. So, camera shy lang. <laughs> alright, there you go. Alright, sige. <laughs> so, when you're ready, I invite you to first find a way of sitting that you feel comfortable. And take deep breaths in and out. Okay, so I invite you to do this gesture with me. Squeeze your hands, okay? Sense inside you how this, the sensation of squeezing your own hands, okay? And then, after squeezing, I invite you to release it by, sige, medyo lower ko yung camera ko. Dito sa inyong thigh, 
ipapound natin siya ng mabilis. Parang nagba-drum roll ka, okay? Drum roll. Okay, so... So when I say squeeze, we will squeeze our hands. And when I say release, we will do this gesture, okay? So squeeze. And release. Okay? Sense inside your body how this exercise feel. Okay? So squeeze again. And release. Okay. So how does this exercise feel to you? Okay? So may iba ba sa inyo na nahihirapan or may iba ba sa, kanyo, sa inyo yung nakakaramdam ng pakiramdam, nakaka-release nga siya? Okay? So let's do it one more time. Squeeze. And release. So as you are releasing, imagine or think of the things that you wanted to release, okay? So squeeze again. Maybe there are things right now that's making you feel na it's not serving me today. Itong feeling na to or thought na ito, okay? So when you think of it, I imagine, imagine, I invite you to imagine releasing it. So let's release it. One, two, three, release. So one more time, squeeze and release. Okay, all right. So shake, shake your hands. Okay, take deep breaths in and out. Okay, parang VIX high. <laughs> Ayan. So thank you for that. Okay, so next um, activity is called lion's breath. Okay, so when you think of a lion and when a lion is breathing, di ba? Parang medyo mas may force siya. So, how do we do that? So, take a deep breath in. And make sound. Ha! So, take deep breath in. And out. Ha! So, sense inside how this exercise feel. Ha? Natutulungan ka ba niya na makapag-release? So, take a deep breath in. And make a sound. Ha! Okay. One last. Take a deep breath in. And out. Ha! Okay, so thank you. Ayan. So this time, I invite you to do this gesture with me. So this is called hand tapping exercise with words of affirmation. So I invite you to put your hands on your chest. Hanapin nyo kung saan yung nararamdaman mo yung tibok ng iyong puso. Okay? So, kanina nag-release tayo the things that's not serving us today. Now, I invite you to connect to the beating of your heart. Okay? So, feel the vibration. Sense the rhythm of your heart. Mabilis ba yung tibok ng aking puso? Kalmado ba? Whatever it is that you're hearing or sensing or feeling, just accept it. Wala namang tama o maling pakiramdam. If you want, you can also close your eyes so that you can feel the beating of your heart more. And as you sense the beating of your heart, I invite you to connect with your heart. Okay? Yung heart natin has been beating 24 hours, di ba? 24-7 since the day we were born. Actually, when we were fetus pa lang, eh, the hearts keep, our hearts are beating, keeping us alive. And I invite you to connect with your heart. And if you could say something to your heart right now, ano kaya yung Gusto kong sabihin sa kanya. And if your heart can talk to you, ano kaya yung gustong sabihin ng aking puso? Araw-araw kasama natin yung heart natin, but this time I invite you to really focus and connect with your heart. And as you connect with your heart, I invite you to make tapping movements. 
sink it with the beating of your heart. So tap your chest. Sense inside how this feels. The tapping movement. And as you tap your heart, I invite you to think of words of affirmation. So heart natin. Maybe you want to say, thank you heart, or you're doing a good job. Thank you for always keeping me alive. If there's any word of affirmation you want to tell your heart, I invite you to do it while you tap it. Okay? Sense inside how this exercise feels. Okay? Okay, ganda ng mga messages that you are typing on the chat box, okay? So I invite you to spread these words of affirmation the different parts of your body. May mga sinasabi dito, kapit lang, di ba? So send this words of affirmation to all parts of you. Actually, it's not only your heart that's been working hard. All parts of you has been, has been working hard. Tama? Hindi tayo susuko, lalabanan natin to. Laban lang. Thank you for being strong heart. Go fight, fight, fight. So ang ganda ng mga sinasabi nating words of affirmation sa ating heart. Okay? Alright. So I invite you to find a good stopping point. And this time, I invite you to get a piece of paper and a pen. Alright, can you hear me now po? Yes po, Teacher Carol. Okay, yes, ayan, sige. So yan ang problem with technology, ano? Parang binibitin tayo minsan, <laughs> ano? Ayan, so you there, there. Okay, proceed na po. Alright, sige. So there you go. So now you're ready with your piece of paper and pen. So this time, after nating marinig itong mga words of affirmation, Ayan, hello, teacher. Karan, medyo na wala pa yung audio. Ayan, so while well, waiting po, no, para mag habang nagre-reconnect si teacher Carol, nagagwa po ba natin, nare-relax po ba tayo? Nakikita namin sa chat box ni Miss Precious, no, ang... Sharing na inyong experiences while we're doing these exercises. Ayan. Can you Correct, hear me? Correct, Miss Joyce. Ayan. Ayan. Ay, wala pa Maraming rin. salamat po sa pag-participate. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, well, Hello. waiting for teacher Carol. Ayan. 
Mukhang naririnig ko na Miss Precious and Teacher Carol. Ayan! Okay, Miss sige. Carol, welcome back. Yeah. Okay, sige. sige Ganito po. na lang. Okay, I think okay. Nagig- nagiging problem when I try to share sound, nawawala mm. yung micro. So, um, sa tech team natin, is it okay if I ask you to play any happy music na lang? Okay na yung the sound that you're playing a while ago. Okay? Alright. So, this time, yan. There you go. Okay, sige. So, now, I'm inviting you, using your non-dominant hand. So, what I mean by non-dominant hand, kung kanan yung ginagamit mo, use your left hand. Kung kaliwati ka, use your right hand. So, I'm inviting you to use your left hand and get any writing instrument or drawing instrument. And I'm going to lower my camera so that you can see. So, listen to the music. And using your non-dominant hand, let it move to the beat and to the rhythm of the music. If there's no right or wrong way doing this, just let your hands move. And sense inside you, how does using your non-dominant hand feel? Okay? Does it connect you to your child self na nag-aaral pa lang magsulat? <laughs> Walang masyadong control? Or maybe there's a part of you that's feeling uncomfortable? Whatever it is that you're feeling right now, accept it. Be open to it. And if you have coloring materials, meron kayong ibang pang drawing dyan, you can also use different colors. Wow! Nakasmile while doing it. You're feeling free. Yeah. Diba? We sometimes forgot to forget to allow ourselves to enjoy and have fun because of the many responsibilities that we have. So this time, we will just enjoy and have fun. Okay? Okay, now this time, you can get another piece of paper. And this time, dalawang kamay na yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, if you have dalawang ball pen, dalawang pencil, kuha kayo para both hands gagamitin natin. Okay? So, kung crayons yung meron ka, you can use different colors na crayon magkabilang kamay. Okay? So, the same Activity, same instruction, listen to the music, connect with the music, and just let your hands dance to the music. Kung feeling mo, hindi lang yung kamay mo yung sumasayaw, sige lang, hayaan mo lang gumalaw ang iyong katawan. If you want, you can also change colors. Kung crayons yung meron ka. when you're using your both hands it's compared to the first na non-dominant hand lang. Whatever feeling you're feeling, okay lang yan. Whether it's positive or negative emotions, we just Accept it with an open heart, open mind. So 
For Miss Maribel, it's more fun. For Miss Joanne, balance, enjoying while being in control. So for Miss Lovely, parang nagkaroon ng synchronization daw with both left and right hand. I'll give you one more minute to dance with your hands. Pwede nating basahin yung mga comments po habang nag-e-enjoy pa sila. Yes, teacher Carol! Ayan, ayan. So, our participants, no? Sabi nila, they feel happy. And uh, same with the response earlier, synchronization of motion is felt. Parang bumalik ako nung bata pa na uh, free sa gustong gawin. Ayan. We also have, I feel freedom of expression while doing this task. Okay. It lightens up my heart. Ayan. Okay. Uh, dominant hand, rush, rush, rush. Non-dominant, kalma lang. <laughs> ayan po. Also, ayan. Meron na tayong mga... Most of them, Teacher Carol, uh, felt that feeling of being relaxed. Free energy. And it was satisfying. Ayan. And they also have enjoyed the activity as well. May nagigigil, Teacher Carol. Ba't ganun? No. Parang nagigigil ako. Ayan. No. <laughs> Lumilitaw ang pagiging bata inside me. Ayan. Ayan. Ang cute daw ng gawa nila, Teacher Carol. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Ayan, Ayan po. Thank you po, Miss Precious. Baka meron din sa YouTube natin, Miss yes. Joyce. Na so, Teacher Carol, meron tayo dito, no, Dave? She feels good activity po. Feel good daw yung activity mo for this afternoon, Teacher Carol. And it makes me smile. Ayan, meron din dito, I feel relaxed and happy. And then, meron din, she felt nice. Ayan. Huh? <laughs> so, marami po natutuwa, Teacher Carol, sa inyong activity this afternoon. Ayan. So thank you very much no sa mga nag ano nag-comment ng kanilang experience. Ayan, sige. So now this time, susubukan nating isulat yung ating experience, okay? So um ma'am, okay lang ba na i-lower na natin yung volume ng sound? Ayan. Okay, natawa ako doon sa comment na mapagawa nga sa lola kong masungit. <laughs> so actually, kahit na beast mode ka na, o oh, yan, gawin mo yan, di ba? <laughs> Para makalama ka. <laughs> okay, so this time, let me share my screen. So this is optional ako if you want to do this with me, okay? So this time, I invite you to write a poem. Um, expressing your experience. So how do we do that, okay? So I invite you to think of one word that will describe or express kung ano yung experience mo dito sa series of the activities that we've done, okay? And then, kung meron ka ng one word na naisip, I invite you to write it na patayo, pa-horizontal. Yan. And then, sa bawat letra ng word mo, Isip ka ng sentence na starting with that letter. Okay? So, you don't have to filter what you're gonna, what you're gonna write. You don't have to think na tama ba grammar? Kung gusto nyo Ilocano, Bisaya, or Kapampangan, yung gusto nyo isulat, okay lang yan. Okay? 
So, hindi kailangan may rhyme. Hindi kailangan merong um, measure. So, just allow yourself to let go of the words without really censoring yourself. Okay? So, after natin mag-enjoy, mag-party-party, medyo kalma muna tayo. And um, let's capture the experience sa pamagitan ng pagsusulat. Surprise yourself to the outcome. And don't um, think about it too much. Just let the words flow. mensahe ng dumalabas sa inyong pagsusulat. Just welcome it with an open heart and open mind. Gaya ng paulit-ulit nating sinasabi, wala namang tama o mali. Okay? This is about expressing ourselves. or if you want, you can also share with us what you wrote. Kung gusto lang, kung abot kaya lang. Para malaman natin if you need more time, type done on the chat box. If done ka na with your um, home writing. Precious, parang may mga nagsashare na po sa ating um, chat, ano? Sige po. Sahin po natin. Yes, yes. Po. Okay po. Ayan. So, uh, meron po tayo ditong uh, mga participants na tapos na po sila. And also, Sir Miguel John, nag-share po siya ng kanyang sagot. Meron po siyang love. It means live, own, value, and express. Ayan po. Done it po. It made me cry and I feel relaxed. Sir Carlo also said it uh, sa kanya po is push, no? Pray until something happens. Ayan. Ayan po. Sabi naman po ni Ma'am Abby, palagi mo sanang aalalahanin na ang mabigat ay gagaan basta patuloy na susubukan at ang pagal mong katawan sa dulo ay makakapagpahinga ang iniinda ay marahang mawawala. Ayan po. And, ayan po, meron din po tayong light. Means, learn to appreciate my blessing, inspire others more, grow in knowledge and positive character, hope for better things in life, thank God always. Happy. Have a pleasant, proud you self. Hope. How are you? Out of all this struggle, pull yourself together, everything will be all right. Kalma, kahit mahirap, alam kong kakayanin laban lang sa buhay. Mabuhay ka, alam ko kaya. Okay. Meron din po tayong fresh mind, faith in God. Sabi naman po ni Ma'am LV, bata, babangon at tatayo. Tayo alang-alang sa ating mga ginugusto, tutumba pero tatayo ulit. Aangkinin ang masarap na pangako. Ayan po. 
We also have uh, first from Sir Carlo Free. Fairly new to being acquainted, rising to one's intention and soul, eclipsing to where I am and who I am, ending this experience with one deep breath. Grabe, Miss Precious. Habang binibasa mo, kinikilabutan ako. Ang ganda ng mga messages. Uh, pati ako na na-struck ako sa mga naisulat nila. Tumatago sa akin. Thank you po sa mga nag-share. Miss Joyce, sa, sa YouTube kaya, meron kaya mga nag-share? Yes. Opo, Teacher Carol. So, mostly po, siya nila na doon na po sila sa kanilang activity na tapos na po sila. And one of our subscriber here po, no? Shinare niya yung word na free. So, F, focus on the reason of your existence. R, respond to those who need help. E, empathize more. And E, Eucharist, be always grateful. Ayan. Nakakatuwa po ang kanilang mga sharing. <laughs> Nakakaatiga, no? Tumatago sa heart. Yes po. Opo, may humabol pa po, Teacher Carol. So, si Miss Jennifer po, peace. Yung word na napili niya, no? Yung P, palaging alalahanin. E, emosyon ay pagyamanin. A, ang ating kaisipan ay laging. C, clean and calm. And E, is the pain and inner disturbances. Ayan. Ang ganda po ng mga gawa nila, Teacher Carol. Oo, grabe, no? Parang ang nakakatuwa kahit virtual itong ating session, tumatago sa screen yung mga inspiration, wisdom na naririnig natin mula sa ating participants, ano? Nakakatouch po, nakakatuwa na we get the chance to learn from each other and also ma-relax din at makapag-express. Ayan. Siguro we can read mga few more. Siguro last three. And then we can wrap up na po. <laughs> okay po, Teacher po. Carol. Ayan po. Meron po tayo dito. Ang word naman po niya ay padayon. Ibig po sabihin nito, eh, uh, moving forward, no? tuloy-tuloy lang. Puso ay nalugmok, alab ay tila naglaho, damdamin ay di maintindihan, araw-araw nahihirapan, yaman ay sarili at pamilya lamang, o giliw, kaya, kaya mo yan, naririto kami na nanalig ka lang. Manalig ka lang. Wow, grabe no. Very Normal po ba yun, Teacher Carol? Pati ako habang binabasa ko, nagiging emotional ako. Oo okay, din eh. Actually ako rin. Tumatagos Sorry. nga yung mga emosyon nila. Kasi yun nga, parang I think um, the good thing about expressive arts is na feel parang there's this common feeling that we're feeling. And now that we're hearing these words from other people, na-affirm din na, ay, hindi lang pala ako nakakaramdam nung hirap na to. And, but, at the end of the poem, it's always hopeful. They're expressing the, the the pain, the suffering, and all that, which is true. We're all experiencing that. We're all in the same pandemic. But really, when we listen to them, there's always hope. And kinikilabutan ako. Kinikilabutan ako with, with their poem. So thank you. Thank you very much for sharing these messages. Sana makompile natin sila, no? Ang ganda-ganda, no? Para pwede tayong gumawa ng libro <laughs> with this, ano, with this sharing ng ating mga participants. Yeah? Thank you very much for for sharing. Thank you very much for opening your hearts and your mind in um, expressive arts. And despite this limitation, this distancing, internet connection na hindi na puputol-putol, we're able to really connect with ourselves and with each other. Yeah. So, just to end this um, this the, my talk, I would like to share you this quote by Pablo Picasso. Sabi niya, Art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. And I can see, listening to your sharing, I really feel that somehow na wash away ng expressive arts those things that has been you know weighing us down yung yung bigat in that in a way nahugas siya sa pamagitan ng 
pag-connect sa isa't isa at pag-express sa ating mga sarili. So with that, thank you very much. And I'm really oh, I'm really honored to be part of this event, National uh, Mental Health Week. So thank you, thank you very much for this invitation and for participating. Yeah, so I'm turning over the floor to our host, Miss Precious and Miss Joyce. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much po, Teacher Cal, for that very informative and relaxing session. I'm sure our participants have some questions, so we are now opening the floor to your inquiries po. Ayan, thank you, Miss Joyce. Hindi pa ako makaget over sa kanilang mga sagot. Gusto ko basahin <laughs> lahat. Ayan, pasensya na kayo. Ayan. You may now send your questions via chat box or you can also share your insights and learnings for today. Again, you can find the call-out icon with the label chat below your screen for laptop and desktop users. And for those who are using their mobile phones, you will see a three-dot icon below your screen. Then you can click that one and you'll see the word chat. Ayan. Ayan. So as we wait for the questions of our participants, what are your main key takeaway ngayong session natin, Miss Precious? Ayan. Actually, Miss Joyce, sa totoo lang, nagsulat ako yung talagang takeaway ko. <laughs> Tapos nung nagsulat, yung nag, nagsimula na yung huling activity, tingin ko gusto ko nalang basahin yung aking, ano, <laughs> yun nalang ang takeaway ko kasi parang Go feeling love, ko Miss na, na, na inspire ko. Okay. <laughs> ang word ko po ay masaya. No, masayang-masaya po ako at nakadalo ako dito at naimitahan po ako mag-host nitong napaka-timely po na event. Ang aking pong word ay masaya. May na-experience na maganda at pang sarili. Uh, aalalahanin ko po ito ng matagal. Uh, sana ay may pagkakataon pa akong ulit-ulitin ito. At uh, ang saya po ng puso ko at isip ko sa ngayon, uh, ito, uh, yan ang kailangan ko in time na fast pacing po ang lahat. And lastly, ang sarili ko naman po ang aalagaan ko. Ayan. Ikaw naman, Miss Joyce. Excited <laughs> naman ako. naman. Yes, oo. Ako naman, Miss Precious, no? natuwa ako how expressive arts can really help us na mag-cope at mag-manage ng emotions. No? Hindi lang pala siya skills or talents na pwede mong paglibangan. There are also additional venues pa pala para makapagsik ka ng clarity and healing. And one of the things I like about this po is hindi siya nagpo-focus sa mga artistic outcomes na kailangan magaling ka. No? Kasi to be honest, Miss Precious, weakness ko po ito. But this no, focuses on the process of creating. No? So hindi nare-require na dapat meron kang artistic ability para makapag-utilize ka ng ganitong klaseng relax. Na, uh, nakaka-relax, no? And the session, uh, hindi lang yung additional knowledge dun sa pag, ano, yung sa true or false ni Teacher Carol yung na-acquire ko. Kasi kasama rin ako dun sa mga napapatrolls or napapafro kanina. So, <laughs> but I have acquired new experiences dahil very coming at relaxing session this afternoon. Actually, gumawa rin ako Miss Precious, so. <laughs> oh, Ayan, so yung activity rin. Naki-activity rin ako. Ayan. Now, uh, will we? Uh, ayan, will uh, read some of your uh, comments this time, Miss Joyce? Ano? Yes. Actually, so uh, pasasalamat ang madalas na nakikita natin dito, no? Yes. And I, I think Miss Joyce, uh, uh, I think I can speak. Uh, for the group, no welcoming yung expressive arts. Yeah. Alam mo yon yung ay tako hindi ko din tupu forte. <laughs> Tahimik lang ako hindi ko tupu forte. Nahihiya ako pag arts arts na pinag-usapan. But this time I enjoyed it and yes. I, I think the participants as well had their time, ano na ma enjoy at ma relax naman sila sa hapong ito. Ayan. Yes, Miss Precious. All right. Ah, uh, may nakita ako question dito so babasahin ko na po. Sabi niya dito, Teacher Carol, ano po ang gagawin if may negative emotions na lumalabas while doing the activity? Ayun, yun. So, just like what I always remind you, iba-iba yung pwedeng emosyon na maramdaman natin. So, maybe some of us comfortable tayo. Minsan may iba sa atin, may nakakalungkot na thoughts, memories. So, just like what I always tell you, in between, uh, whatever it is that's coming out, be kind to it, 
be understanding, be compassionate with what you're feeling, kahit negative emotion yun. And sometimes, it's hard to be kind, compassionate, friendly to these emotions. Lalo na kung mabigat or ano siya, medyo negative feeling siya. But I invite you to just be curious. Why am I feeling this way? Nag- Nagkaganito lang naman ako, bakit ako nagigigil? <laughs> diba? Bakit lumalabas yung, ano, yung gigil ko, nag-squeeze lang naman ako ng hand, diba? So, just be curious. And when you have this attitude um, na we are welcoming, friendly to this to this um, feeling, you will immediately feel that ano, eh, merong pagbabago. Kasi nga, ang automatic response natin, i-reject lahat yung negative emotion. But really, sometimes... Um, I think there was a, a a movie or a book na minsan yung mga damdamin natin, they need to be felt. Diba? They need to be heard. They need to be um, understood. They need to, you know, it's like a little child wanting our attention and we just need to sit with it and listen to it. And we'll never know ano pala yung mensahe niya para sa atin. Diba? Ayun. Meron pa po bang tanong? Yes, thank you so much po, Teacher Carol. We also have question po from our YouTube po channel. So, dito po, sabi niya, Hi, ma'am. Can we use your activity in our class po? I believe students will enjoy and feel relaxed. Ayan. And she's asking po if she can have your copy of your presentation. Yes po. Um, yeah. Sinend ko na po kay Miss Ola. I think um, she will be sending it together with Yes po. Yes. Ayan, thank you okay. so much po. Also, Miss Precious, may nakita yes, akong question sa ating mm, Meron tayong po. question dito to Teacher Carol. Uh, if my traumatic experience causes me to have trouble in sleeping or it affects my sleep to the point na I will have only two to three hours of sleep a day, uh, do I need help a professional? Uh, do I need help na po ba from a professional? Sometimes I do have difficulties in handling it sometimes. Yeah, oo. So, yun nga, meron, meron tayong mga na, mga signs na kailangan na natin ng tulong. Halimbawa, um, nagiging dysfunctional na tayo, hindi na natin nagagawa yung mga dapat nagagawa natin. O kaya, um, yun nga, nahihirapan tayong makatulog. Pag hindi tayo makatulog, nakaka-affect yan sa mood, sa functioning mo, and all that. So, if nahihirapan ka na sa pang-araw-araw mo na pang-functioning, Araw-araw na ginagawa mo sa buhay, na debilitate ka na nang nangyayari sa iyo at nahihirapan ka na talaga mag-cope, nandito ang PMHA. Meron tayong mga helplines, tama po ba Miss Precious, Miss Joyce, na pwede kayong mag-seek ng help. Kasi um, kahit sabihin natin matatag tayo, malakas tayo, meron talagang pagkakataon na kailangan natin humingi ng tulong. Thank you, Miss Carol. Ayan, I hope na-answer po. And later on po yung atin pong mga hotline numbers, isu-share po namin sa'yo as we go along with our program. Miss Joyce? Ayan, so that's the end of our open forum po, no? In the interest of time, no? Gusto man namin ma- uh, accommodate lahat ng questions, for, <laughs> pero we have a limited time po. Ayan. So at this point po, we would like to present the Certificate of Appreciation to our speaker. Philippine Mental Health Association, in partnership with Creative Passion Path, presents this Certificate of Appreciation to Caroline Tonko, Registered Expressive Arts Consultant Educator, for sharing her, her expertise on the topic, The Power of Expressive Arts in Improving Mental Health and Well-Being. During the National Mental Health Week, given the 6th day of October 2021 via Zoom. Signed by Dr. Carolina Unoraico, Registered Guidance Counselor and Registered Psychologist, National Executive Director of the Philippine Mental Health Association, Incorporated. And thank you, Ms. Joyce, once again. Let's put our hands together, virtual hands natin for our speaker this afternoon, Ms. Carolyn P. Tongko. Ayan. Big, big heart. Thank you very much, Teacher Carol, for the session and the experience. Thank you so much, Teacher Carol. Nag-enjoy po kami and I'm sure ang ating mga participants din. 
Now, to improve our webinars, help us evaluate by answering our evaluation form. You can access it by typing the link bit.ly slash wellbeingwebevolve or you can scan the QR code flashed on the screen. We have also sent the link in our chat box. Ayan. Okay, at this point, po, please make sure that you have entered the correct email address as we will be sending your handouts and e-certificates there. So, may nagtanong po kanina, paano daw po claim So, we'll be sending it to you after you answer our uh, evaluation form po. And reminder lang po, on the last page, we will be asking you to upload a screenshot photo of this webinar to get your uh, to get your e-certificates. Again, you will attach the screenshot photo on the last page of the Google form. If you're having trouble uploading using your mobile phones, we recommend that you switch to laptop or desktop. And please expect an email from us with your e-certificates and handouts. If you have any other questions or concern for this, kindly email us at pmha.fhw at gmail.com. Thank you so much, Miss Precious. Ayan, for those who are asking po, no, kung isi-send po namin yung handout, isi-send po namin ito, basta i-access nyo po yung ating post-evaluation link, isi-send po namin ang certificate nyo kasama po yung handout. And so we would also like to use this opportunity to announce our other services under the Project Mental Health and Psychosocial Support for Community Frontline Health Workers. This is one of the PMHA's online initiatives in partnership with Johnson & Johnson facilitated by Give to Asia to help ensure the well-being of our frontline health workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, we are providing the services. Okay, our first services po is uh, what we call PMHA Core. It is a one-on-one -on -one session with a mental health professional where members discuss mental health issues and concerns related to their experiences, work, and other aspects of their lives, which have been affected by being in the front line of the COVID-19 crisis. Again, bukod po sa PMHA Core, we also have PMHA Circle. It's a therapeutic group sessions which provides safe space for them to discuss their mental health concerns, matuto po sa isa't isa, and support one another in learning how to cope with their current issues. So, ayan, makakasama niyo po yung mga kapa, yung health worker dito sa service na ito. Ayan, thank you, Miss Joyce. And of course, if you want to avail any of the services or would you like to be updated to the different programs and services of the association, you may send us an email at pmha.f hw at gmail.com or send us a Viber message on 0961-717-3855 I'll repeat that one it's 0961-717-3855 and of course follow us on Facebook by liking our Facebook page Philippine Mental Health Association Incorporated or at PMHA Official and PMHA Community Based Mental Health Program Thank you so much Miss Precious We are in the midway through the National Mental Health Week and we still have lots of events in store, so we are excited to invite you to the following events. Ayan. So for all the youth in the house, ayan po, we are inviting you to hashtag you got this navigating and emerging amidst adversities. This is a free mental health forum for the youth by PMHA in partnership with Mental Health PH. This session will be tomorrow na po, October 7, from 9 to 11.30 in the morning. Again, we will be live on Zoom and streamed on Facebook. This webinar aims to guide the youth to realize their strength, meaning, and purpose amidst adversities. We will also be talking about how the youth can shift perspective, lead, and take action at their level. So just register at bit.ly. Uh, 3M2MUME at uh, isi-send din po namin ito sa inyong mga chat box no? and uh, nakapost din po ito sa ating um, Facebook page at PMHA Official. 
Yes, Miss Precious, with the upcoming 2022 elections, malapit na po, it's prime time to prepare ourselves as we use our voting power for a better mental health system in the Philippines. Join us in Let's Vote for Mental Health, a panel discussion on voters' education this October 8th, Friday na po yan, from 4 to 6 p.m. live via Zoom. Now, after an illuminating success during the 2020 National Mental Health Week, PMHA is excited to announce the Light Up Blue for Mental Health Year 2 campaign. Join us as we raise the color blue as a symbol to support the mental health advocacy and accessibility for mental health services. We encourage everyone to wear something blue or to get creative and light up your paraphernalia blue. This will be on October 8th, Friday at 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. And in partnership with Ilocos Training and Regional Medical Center in coordination with Cavite Center for Mental Health and the La Salle Medical and Health Services Institute, PMHA Lipat Chapter will be having a free webinar with the theme Mental Health in an Equal World. This will be on October 8th, Friday din po, from 1.30 to 4 p.m. Live ulit via Zoom. Ayan. Again, our participants, please watch out for our PMHA check-in videos as we share how we can support and take care of each other's mental health during this pandemic. This will be up on our official Facebook page on October 9, Saturday. Po yan. Also, on October 9, PMHA CDO Misamis Oriental Chapter in partnership with the Life Project for Youth CDO, we hold a webinar entitled Self-Care 101, A Journey of Loving the Self for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Community. Ayan, thank you Miss Joyce. Tuloy-tuloy lang po ang ating celebration sa National Mental Health Week and we will end uh, Saturday with a Big Bang with a powerful virtual dance fitness marathon entitled Be Your Own Superhero by PMHA Cebu Chapter. Everyone is invited to join this one. This will be from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. Let's put on our dancing shoes and move for mental health. Yes! October 10 naman po is a World Mental Health Day in line with the World Health Organization's 20, 2021 theme, Mental Health Care for All. Let's make it a reality. We would like to invite everyone po to join us in our webinar entitled Mental Health in an Unequal World, Out of the Shadows and Into the Sunshine with PMHA's National Executive Director, Dr. Carolina Unaray. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Joyce. After a jam-packed week of fun-filled and informative activities, we head over to PMHA's Facebook page for a special video reel of the events that transpired during the National Mental Health Week 2021 celebration. You may access all the meetings and registration link at... Uh, ayan po, nakapost na po sa inyong mga screen. Ito po ang magiging link natin para po sa mga meetings and registrations. For more details on these events, follow us on Facebook. Of course, it's uh, Facebook at PMHA Official and we hope to see you there. Also, at this point, we would like to thank our esteemed partners, no? uh, the Department of Health Philippines, Creative Passion Path. We also have hashtag Mental Health PH and Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association. Psychological Association of the Philippines, PAP, Youth for Mental Health Coalition, Organic Intelligence Consulting Incorporated, at ang ating media partner, Mga Tala at Pula. Also, please continue supporting our hashtag Wellbeing Wednesday in our series, Breathe With Us. Yan, follow us at our uh, sa YouTube page namin, no, PMHA Official. Okay. Uh, Miss Joyce, uh, I would like to take this opportunity you know, to thank and uh, to acknowledge the Board of Management Chairperson of PMHA Davao Chapter, Dr. Jean Golanes. Uh, he has been with us you know, since the beginning of this session. Thank you so much, Dr. Jean, for joining the oh. afternoon session. Daghang salamat, Dr. Jean Golanes from 
uh, City Health Office and uh, Chairperson of PMH Davao. Nagang salamat, Dr. Jean. Ayan. For more information about our upcoming activities, kindly like and follow our Facebook page. It's PMH Community-Based Mental Health Program and PMH Official Facebook Page Accounts. You may also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and of course, PMH Official. So please don't forget to tag us and use the hashtag, hashtag NMHW2021 and hashtag Mental Health Care for All. Thank you, Ms. Precious. And now we have come to the end of our webinar. To give us a parting message, we would like to call on our Program Manager of Education and Focus in Research Department, Ms. Llewellyn Isa B. De La Cruz. Hello, Ma'am Isa. Good morning, Ma'am. I'm going to talk to Yes, po. Yes, po. Uh, alam kong patapos na tayo, pero isa sa mga ginawa ko habang nakikinig ay gumawa rin ako ng tula. at nais kong i-share yung maliit na dula na nagawa ko dahil sa pinagawa ni Teacher Carol. Ang salita na naisip ko ay ang salita na thanks. At yan, nasa chat box yung ginawa kong dula. Um, ang nilagay ko dyan ay thanks. Tayo na tao habang naglalakbay ay nakikisama at nakikipamuhay sa kalikasan at sa mga pagsubok ng buhay. Totoong tayong lahat Uh, lahat tayo ay naglalakbay sa ngayon at kailangan na kahit sa likod ng pandemya ito, magsama-sama lang tayo para malapasan natin ang lahat ng mahabang. Thank you very much to all of our health workers, frontliners, and all the people who attended this afternoon, both sa ating Zoom meeting at sa YouTube. Talagang kami ay very thankful at uh, mataba ang aming puso dahil sa inyong pagtangkilik sa programa na ito. Uh, sa sobrang dami ng hamo ng pandemya sa ating mental health, madami sa atin siguro ang nangailang gumawa ng mga bagay-bagay na, na nakakapagpagaan ang ating damdamin. Kung maaaring ang iba, nagkonsulta na sa mga mental health professional. Ang ating ginagawa ngayong hapon, or ang ginawa natin ngayong hapon ay isang alternatibo, ngunit mabisang paraan kung paano tayo ay makakapaglabas ng ating mga nararamdaman sa malikhaing pamamaraan. Sa pangitan ng expressive arts, nalaman natin di ba, ngayon na yung mga bagay na simple na nasa paligid natin, maaring makatulong sa ating mental health. Kailangan lang natin malaman kung paano siya gamitin. At um, wala na akong masyadong masasabi tungkol sa expressive arts, sa mga takeaways, kasi ang dami-dami nating natutunan at sobrang galing na ating resource person ngayon na talagang madami siyang na-share sa atin na maaaring natin gawin sa araw-araw. Nais ko talagang gawin ngayon ay magpasalamat. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng partners namin sa pagsasagawa ng serbisyo para sa mga frontline health workers at para magawa rin namin ang webinars na to. Halos magtatapos na ngayong buwan, yung, um, ng Oktubre, yung aming programa para sa mga community frontline health workers sa iba't ibang panig ng Pilipinas at isa ang webinar, webinar na ito sa mga culminating activities kasama kayong lahat. Maraming salamat, of course, sa aming naging partner from May up to hanggang ngayon, ang um, J&J, Global Community Impact, and Johnson Johnson Philippines. Um, sa pagsuporta sa programa para sa inyo, mga health workers, mga frontliners ng community, simula pa nung last year. Salamat din sa Give to Asia sa pagbibigay nila ng technical support sa PMHA para matulungan natin ang lahat. At maraming salamat sa aming partner ngayong araw na to ang Creative Passion Path. Sa panguna, of course, ng napakagaling nating resource person na si Teacher Carol, kasama rin niya sa Creative Passion Path si Teacher Tanya. Sila ay kasama natin hindi lang ngayon, maging nung pre-pandemic partner sila ni PMHA. Sobrang generous nila sa kanilang oras at talaga namang matyaga sila sa pagtulong sa ating advocacy. Naging possible sa sa amin yung YouTube wellness video dahil sa Creative Passion Pass. Uh, so maraming maraming salamat sa inyo, Teacher Carol. Mula sa isang pagpupulong ng sanglet sa isang gabing nag-usap kami, nagong posible na magkaroon tayo ng Wellness Wednesday na ngayon ay ginawa pa nga natin ang live. Nagpapasalamat din ako sa iba pa nating mga naging mental health champions na partner para sa mental health week na to at specifically din dito sa ating webinar ngayon sa DOH, sa Department of Health, sa hashtag mental health PH, sa Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association, sa PAP, 
sa organic intelligence at sa youth for mental health. Salamat din sa mga PMHA chapter executive managers na nandito ngayon at tumulong. Hindi lang sa webinar ngayon, sa pagplano nito at sa pag um, gawa ng mga bagay sa likod ng webinar na hindi nyo nakita kung paano sila tumulong sa amin. Maraming salamat din sa kanilang mga staff, sa chapter, sa board of management. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga board of management na nandito. Ganun din sa aming mga admin at CISD staff ng Philippine Mental Health National Office na nakamonitor ngayon sa amin at uh, tumutulong sa aming webinar. Maraming salamat din sa mga partner LGUs at provincial governments na tumulong sa PMHA na magka-reach out sa aming mga frontline health workers. Maraming maraming salamat po. Higit sa lahat, nagpapasalamat ako at kinukongratulate ko ang aming napakasipag at napakreative na community-based mental health program team ng national office, si Paula, si Joy, si Camille, maging ang lahat ng aming mga kasama sa EARN. Congratulations, nakagawa na naman tayo ng isang kaibigong activity para sa hapon na to. So maraming maraming salamat po at totoo matabang matabang aming puso sa pagtangkilik na ibinigay ninyo ngayong hapon. So manatili po sana tayong lahat ligtas at hindi dito nagtatapos ang ating mga programa. Umatid pa kayo bukas hanggang biyernes at hanggang linggo pa. So maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much po, Ms. De La Cruz. Ayan. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Aisa. Before, but we will end this webinar, we would like to take a commemorative photo of you. Kung okay lang po sana sa inyo, we would like to see your beautiful faces. Kaya po sana at this point, buksan po natin ang ating mga camera. Okay po? Sige. Mag-open camera po muna tayong lahat. Ayan po. I'll give you the virtual floor, Miss Joyce. Okay, pass. Alright po, pass stop sharing the screen po para makapag-picture taking na po tayo. Alright, for so marami rami po tayo dito, no? So maraming panels po, so keep your smile. Page one. Smile po. Okay, page two. Hold your smile. Page three. Okay po, page four. Konting tiis-tiis na lang po. Ayan. Page 5. Page 6. Page 7. Second to the last. Last page na po. Ayan. Thank you so much po. And thank you so much everyone who joined us today. We hope you all learned something new about expressive arts and start applying it in your own well-being routine. Ayan, thank you also to our partners who graced us with their presence this afternoon. Miss Joyce, ang saya-saya ko po at nakapag... Ako din. <laughs> uh, iba yung feeling ko ngayon ng pagkatapos itong session, Miss Joyce. Talagang nakaka-inspire. At maraming salamat, PMHA po. Ayan. So please take care everyone. Stay physically and mentally healthy. At kita-kita po tayo muli sa aming next webinar. Bye po for now. Ingat.